A little bit behind the scenes. I know a lot of people really are intrigued by what goes on and how this show ends up uh, being as compelling as it is for viewers. There are not tons and tons of people wandering around when you are playing the game of Survivor. There are shifts of staff that come in, production staff and camera crew and sound crew, etc. So you might actually only see one sound person who's got a, a camera guy with him and maybe no producers for a while. And then maybe a producer comes over and calls you over. But you're not paying attention to any of that. But that's just for you to know that. And then maybe you'll see a producer and a sound person and a camera f folk person over there. Whatever. They're not often always on the island or on in, in your presence. They come and go based on whatever it is that they need. There are always cameras. There's always sound. That's continuous. But you may not see this one or that one uh, for many differing amounts of time. But if you're a good survivor player, one of the things I think that's really, really important is to understand the impact of your confessionals on viewers. Confessionals are when a producer pulls you aside and you sit down and you do an interview, basically, talking about whatever it is that the producer is asking you to explain or to point out or to share with the, the audience. And very often, I notice, players are not focused on giving the viewer as much honesty and reality as they could. And I think that's a mistake. I think when you're a good player, you should share with the audience the stuff that's going on in your head. The fact that I do has left me as being perceived a villain, uh, I think, particularly in the first season, because people didn't know what to do with this guy who was telling you, the viewer, oh, this one's doing this and that one's doing this and I'm about to go get rid of that and I'm going to go cut her throat. And, da -da. and then they would watch me turn around, walk back into the game and be sweet as pie. Going about what I had shared with them I was going to do, but in a way that the other players had no idea it was happening. And that shook people up. Well, that should be going on today, too. You should be sharing with producers exactly what you're thinking, talking about how the game is going to unfold or how you're going to influence its unfolding, how you're going to influence its unfolding. And that gives the viewer something to sink their teeth into, to look for, to gauge whether or not your choices and what you're planning is worthwhile. I think it's a real valuable thing, confessionals. I'm not sure that they are as utilized, uh, well utilized, as they should be by, by participants. Producers have different personalities, and there isn't just one producer out there. There are a number of producers. Sometimes there's one assigned to one team and one to another. And over the period of the shows being filmed, you start to know the producer and the producer's personality. And so there is a certain level of trust or not that you develop with producers. Obviously, the producers with whom participants develop trust are the ones that are kept on and who, who are probably, con probably considered good staff by CBS. They're the ones who elicit honesty from the participants. They know what questions to ask. They, they know how to elicit emotion. They know how to help that survivor player who might be really invested in the game kind of relax enough to step outside of their own stresses in the game and share with the audience what's really going on. Some of you out there with these, you know, production-oriented brains have these really geeky questions about like, wait a minute, wait a minute, is, is, are the confessionals scheduled? Are they, uh, wait, could they do this to any, how often does it happen? Oh, it's, it's amazing to me. It's really funny. But I get it. You want to know what's going on? Listen, confessionals aren't scheduled. You know, producers probably back there hoping they can do it once every three hours or something. But 
they're, they're influenced by what's happening in the game. So if there's going to be a challenge, maybe that's an opportunity while you're being moved to the challenge and the challenge is being set up. Maybe the producer takes some of you one by one away to do a confessional. When you're pulled by a producer to do a confessional, that's one of those periods of time that other participants, other game players, aren't concerned necessarily about your being away. There's opportunity there because theoretically, if you're pulled away by a producer to do a confessional and you have the opportunity to extend that time by wandering back to the group, but not quite so quickly, maybe making a detour to find idols or do whatever, uh, grab it. Look for those crazy opportunities. It's tough to find because often you're brought to a confessional while you're just standing there waiting for a challenge. And so everybody knows you go and then you come. But confessionals are taped far away from where the other players are standing. The producers are, are really trying to be careful so that you don't get overheard by the other players. That would really undermine the trust you have in the producer and the comfort level you have with sharing real thoughts when you're, when you're giving a confessional. But they could happen anytime. They could happen multiple times a day. Um, they could happen not multiple times a day, or maybe a couple of days goes by before you actually have one. It, it's really, really varied. I won't say it's random because I think it's a big part of the compiling, the composition of the show, and the producers know the, the bits and pieces that they need to get from the participants to make the story clear, to have viewers brought along uh, in as accurate a depiction of what did take place as possible. A lot of that is due to the confessionals. So it's, it's not random, but it is very, very varying uh, amounts of, there is very, very varying amounts of time between um, one confessional and the next one. You could go to a challenge. You could have been in a confessional prior to that challenge. Something dramatic could have happened in that challenge and you could end it up in a professional before you even leave that challenge again. It's all based on what happens in the game, how the game itself unfolds will guide what happens with your going or being brought to a confessional. Hey, you, yeah, you watching the video. You thought it was over. No, you got a job to do. Click the like button and subscribe right below. Come on, get on it now and feel free to comment. Go ahead. Tell me how arrogant I am. Tell me how much you can't stand this or that. I'll listen. <laughs> comment away.